today I'm going to show you guys how I make spaghetti. This is one of my favorite dish. It's just the way I make it. So these are the ingredients that I have. I have um, red onions, um, green peppers, and then tomatoes. I already, you know, pre chopped them. And then here we have shrimp and then smoked herring right here. So I already cleaned before I chop it chop the smoked herring. I cleaned it also with the shrimp. So I use um, salt and lemon juice to clean both of them before, you know, I cooked it. So once I'm done cleaning this, so I usually add black pepper. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then I have my own egg piece that I made. This is like a, a all-purpose seasoning that I make from scratch, and I just add it to the shrimp, and I mix it to fake that so it can marinate a little bit. So this is called a piece in Creole. If you guys want to see how I make it, I'll just show you. Please comment below so I'll you know, show you guys step by step how I make it. So I already have my spaghetti it's cooking. It should be done by now. Yeah, it's done. So how do I cook my spaghetti? It's just um regular way of cooking spaghetti. There's no special way. It's to just follow the box, you know, and you cook it. Just make sure, you know, you follow the direction and you should be good. So now spaghetti is done cooking and um, I'm just going to drain it. The trick to this is that you have to add um, cold water. So I just a little bit of cold water so that it doesn't stick when you go so the, sp the spaghetti doesn't stick together. So, alright. So now let's start. Alright guys, so I'm going to add my green onion. I usually add this first because it takes a little bit longer to cook. But um, you can add it whichever first, it doesn't matter. It's not big deal. So let it cook for like 2 minutes. So it's been two minutes. So now I'm going to add my chopped smoked herring. As you guys can see, I chopped it really, really small. The smaller you chop it, the better, so that it's evenly distributed in the spaghetti. Guys, this is how I look. So I added a little bit of tomato paste to kind of give it a very nice color. So now, after like three, four minutes, so now I can add my shrimp.
I'm adding some of the spaghetti sauce. All right, guys, I'm adding a little bit of spaghetti sauce, not a lot. I'll add a little bit more. So let it, I'm gonna let it cook for like five minutes until the, sh the shrimp is fully cooked. Okay. I'm adding just a little bit more device, not a lot, just like a spoon filled. a little bit more. So I'm just bring this down because you don't want it to burn. leaving it there for like five minutes and then I'm going after that's the last step after five minutes then I'm going to add the spaghetti all right I'll be right with you guys okay guys I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed peppers red peppers not a lot well depending on how you like your food if you like it spicy mild or hot so I like my food a little bit hot not too hot so I just add a little bit of crushed red peppers and then just mix it a little bit, give it two more minutes and then we can add this spaghetti. Alright guys, it's all done. The shrimp look cooked. Actually taste it. It, it does. <laughs> it, it's cooked. So, okay guys, the, this is done. The shrimp is cooked. So now I'm about to add my spaghetti. So I do it like that and mix it and then keep adding. So everything is well mixed and evenly. I'll be showing this just to mix it. I think this is better than this one. Yeah. This is it. Almost done. So basically mix. So it's you know, the sauce is evenly spreading. Okay, guys, it's all done now. So, as you guys can see, it's evenly spreaded. The sauce is evenly spreaded. All right, so that's it. You know, so I'm about to taste it. I have my friend over, so she's gonna taste it and let you guys know how it tastes. Alright, thank you for watching.